Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, everybody. Good morning on this Tuesday morning. Uh, it is the last day of January, a month that has been absolutely crazy all over the place. If you think about the variety of weather we've had, if February and March are going to be this crazy, well, let's hope they're not. I mean, for, for my health, anyway. Um, I've made some tweaks to your forecast this week. I've uh, uh, tweaked the temperatures, put in some rain chances here and there. We'll have an update on that uh, Super Bowl weekend storm system and also a look ahead to what could be a big deal storm system, perhaps, next week. Winter continues, and it's raging across the northern U.S. and the northeast and the Great Lakes, but uh, winter is kind of just on pause, at least for now. It will be back in a big way, but not for now. So we're saying warmer temperatures will continue at least for the next couple of days. We will get somewhat cooler by Saturday. Uh, mostly sunny skies today with a high temperature up to about 70. Not bad here on the uh, last day of January, right? Southwest winds at 6 to 12 miles per hour. Tonight slow down to about 47. Tomorrow, uh, spring-like warmth continues. You see a few showers up to the north with a frontal system that will be meandering this way. High temperatures will be in the lower 70s as we begin February. Even some mid and maybe upper 70s across South Alabama, not out of the question. Thursday, some spotty showers can't be ruled out. I think most of us are dry and most of us are relatively warm as well. Uh, that's Groundhog Day, by the way. Stray showers, not out of the question. Friday as a front settles southward. And then a little dry, uh, mainly dry, a little cooler behind the front on Saturday. And then we get ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Here's the storm system coming in. Uh, scattered showers will be around. I don't think this is a severe weather producer at all. I've got the rain chances at 50% on Super Bowl Sunday. So there you go. We're talking about uh, 71 tomorrow after 70 today, and then upper 60s, mid-60s Friday, low 60s Saturday, and near 60s Sunday with scattered showers. I've got a 50-50 chance in the forecast for now. We're looking at the GFS, or the rather the European out 10 days. This is very interesting. It shows the warm week we have. Then it shows a significant storm system maybe later on next week towards, uh, you know, February 8th. So that's something we're going to look, look at the temperature drop from, the, from the, uh, the day before until the next day. And February 8th could be a significant storm system. That has my attention. And not just the European is showing that. Now the GFS is showing a big deal storm system next week with uh, the temperature drop. Look at that, 78 like on February 8th, and then uh, a, a huge drop the following day, about a 30-degree temperature drop. So, yeah, that would indicate a, a storm system that uh, we need to watch. But that's several days out. Here's the uh, GFS numbers out 16 days. We're looking at uh, some ups and downs, some ups this week, you know, a little cooler over the weekend. Then we rebound next week out ahead of that next storm system before we drop down again. So, some, you know, this is what we expect to see in February. And stay up with all the weather changes by downloading our weather app if you don't have it yet for your uh, smartphone or your tablet and pass the word to your friends because it's come in handy here lately with winter storms and cold weather and uh, uh, the tornadoes we had the other day. It's, uh, it's good to have because of the push notifications as well. So adios to the month of January, a month that started with uh, severe weather on the 2nd of January and then we had that uh, winter storm threat followed by severe cold including single digit wind chills. Remember that cold weekend? Then we went into some wild temperature swings and then a period of record highs and then three days of severe weather that produced 17 tornadoes. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm pretty happy to see January end, but don't think that February or March is going to be uh, a little tamer because I think we'll probably see a lot more nonsense like that in February and March. I hope you have a great day today. I'll be live on radio this morning on News Talk 93.1 from 6 to 9 and also on Bama Country and your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on eight radio stations. Another video tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. as we begin the month of February. Have a great day today. I'll see you later. Isn't this nice? This is really nice. Rich Thomas Weather